already. Well, as you can see, right here, I did find something, something to eat. Um, however, it was not in any way cheap, um, but you would never really expect to find food on the cheap in San Francisco Airport. Um, I guess most airports run pretty expensive on food. It's normal, but San Francisco specifically is through the roof on their prices. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're kind of like locked in here unless you want to uh, go out of uh, security and have to go back through the whole gauntlet of TSA agents trying to shake you down and look through all your stuff and confiscate toenail clippers and the whole bit. Um, and I know from previous previous experience, uh, me and TSA don't get along too well in SFO. For some reason, I don't know why. Maybe because of the beard. Maybe because of my ruggedly handsome good looks. I almost always get stopped in the search here. Um, they almost always pull me to the side and look through all my stuff and pat me down and the whole bit. So, I don't know. If I can avoid going through the security line in SFO, I definitely do that. And it's nice that they used to be that when you flew in domestic to SFO from Medford, you still had to go out of the domestic terminal and then go in a separate security checkpoint um, to the international terminal. And that was pain in the butt. Luckily, they finally connected it so that if you've already been through security at your, your starting airport, you can just go directly to the international uh, terminal and uh, you don't have to go through all, all that nasty stuff again. So that's nice. Um, so what do I have here? I have, as you saw, a bacon whole wheat wrap. Yummy. Turkey bacon whole wheat wrap, sorry. Um, looks decent enough, edible, yeah, I'm not gonna be sitting in my stomach for the next 12 hours. Um, and of course got some water, Aquafina, pure water, perfect taste, purified drinking water. Official water of Major League Baseball, that's important, because I mean, you know, if, although if baseball players are drinking it, you know, they can hit balls, you know, four or five hundred feet out of the park, well, that's just going to help me to do something very non-related on the airplane. Next topic. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I still have quite a bit of time before my flight. So I'm going to eat now and uh, chill a little bit. I might pop into some of these little shops around here and make my way over to back to gate uh, 93. I don't know, maybe like 9.30ish or so. I mean, boarding doesn't start till 10.23 or so and I don't need to be there that early. Unless, of course, I want to get some sleep, but... We'll see. Um, oh, well, might as well see this now. Um, Mom, Dad, uh, family, Stephanie, uh, Victoria, Elizabeth, Patrick, Micah, Malachi, Matthew, Heidi. I'm just rattling off names here, aren't I? Um, I already miss you guys a lot. I'm sorry I wasn't able to kind of have a, have a more under control farewell this morning at the airport, but it's kind of just go, 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 and didn't have much of a chance. I would've, uh, Mike and Stephanie, I know you guys can, would've liked to come and give you guys a hug, but, you know, once you go through that security line, you're not really supposed to go back out. And we've already established that uh, many people feel that I look like I, um, bomb things, so. So it's best not to text, not, tongue tied. It's best not to test your luck. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Well, I love you guys. I already missed you. And, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Working hard. Studying hard. Uh, yeah.
Alright, I'm gonna eat. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.